know what strikes me here is all this language is building capacity. And just listening to that question, question, how do leaders adjust their what was it? Thinking. Their thinking. Yeah. So it's it's their readers, their thinking, so that they can better understand. It's it's living in positive presuppositions. Well, and, it, and it clarifies that there's an adjustment mm -hmm. that has to be done because you don't read the two texts the same. It was also one of the questions on the pretest that we did. So then I compare the question, the entrance slip yesterday, to how they did on the pretest question, and then have that data to see where we need to go, and then also looking it over to see who I need to meet with yet <laughs> during um, independent reading the next day, and uh, pull some small groups. Well, text structures, uh, I think I spent about five days on it. Mm -hmm. And we talked earlier that I took this chart and I enlarged it and then I cut it apart and that was the first day. Here's what we're going to be studying. Here's what we're going to look for. See if you can find the structure and then see if you can match it with a definition and some signal clues. And so that was just kind of their introduction. And the next day um, introduced a challenge for them to be looking for these in their reading at home bring it in, put it under the hover cam, and read it out loud to the kids so to see if the class can identify what structure they're showing an example of. And, um, oh, and then I read aloud those teacher passages in here. As you're listening, what are you noticing? So that was the second day. And then the third day was when I actually gave them this, and we were highlighting and underlining and, and labeling and noticing. And I think it helped that we did it verbally the first day, you know, listening and talking about it and talking to your elbow partner. And then the next day to actually have those same passages that they listen to and then have it with the different text features and then go through it. And yeah, here's what we do. Yes? I'm wondering if you will see um, students come to you with students at such magazine, readers of today, if you'll see someone. Yeah. And I did a challenge with them to find text features, and I had a lot of kids participate in that. Bring in what you're reading from home, show it to us, and, and um, point out some of the unique text features that you're finding. And I had a lot of participation. I think in fourth hour I have 26 kids, and I had, they brought in almost 70 different samples. And fifth hour was pretty well represented too, but even sixth hour, they, they were almost 30 um, samples. And granted, sometimes it's the same kids. Yeah. But then I encouraged them, well, you know, who else can you get up there? So they, will you, will you come up and show these ones? And what text features do you see? So they were starting to pull in the other kids, and at least they got up there and presented. So then, so, yeah, the, the exit slip, um, that became the second challenge. And I had my first two participants today, but we went to the library this morning with my reading class, and he had already read and picked them out and put them under there, and it was about dirt bikes and the sizes of their engines, and um, it was nice to see some of the other people get involved with that topic. So I don't think I'm going to quite the participation as I did last with the last challenge because it was a little easier, but... I think once they started it today, I think, you know, they'll feed off it a little bit. But several of them are um, talking about it as well. They might not bring it in and actually show it, but they are. They're noticing. So. Which is encouraging the question of the introduces it, but it's starting to hit home. Mm-hmm. Because I taught the fifth grade units with my sixth graders, and, then I'm, and so I was noticing as well. 
boy, these are really similar in what what they hit. Mm-hmm. Well, and you know, when you think about where we were at prior to, I'm thinking the Mason units, maybe not, but it was pretty much the basal, or whatever the basal told you to do with informational text. Um, I mean, this makes it real. I mean, how many kids love dirt bikes, and just by your student sharing, might inspire other kids to be looking for whatever they reading material they have. Yeah, when they brought in the text um, text feature samples too, they would yeah they would have a lot of people coming. Oh, can I borrow that one book that you brought in on the Titanic? And you know, so yeah, it was it was good to see them. So you're selling, selling, <laughs> you're selling non fiction. Yeah. Great. Well, let's thank Mary again. Decide what do we want to do? We've got about 15, well, 